Hello, here's a. I'm gonna go down to my basement. Right out here's my cellar. This actually goes down. Right now we've got a bunch of snow and junk on it, but that shows my cellar door. And then here's going down to my basement. I took my door off and then I redid this with some pegboard just to make it more useful area there for tools. Um, it's not very well lit down here so I did put a flashlight down and I'm carrying a flashlight to kind of show stuff but it's got the wooden steps going to the upstairs to this part of the house and then also the wooden steps going down. Now the big thing with this basement is it actually has stone rather than concrete or a lot of them just had rock. They weren't near this fancy but this has got the real nice stone cut out. It's got a concrete floor. Over here, it did have the uh, bunch of shells for um, going with the. There we go. Sorry about that. Bunch of shells for all the canned goods, and then here's the platform for the. Uh, chimney and then I tied in with this and did have my wood wood stove down here. This is an old coal chute behind my electric panels. Um, just how they would throw the coal in for that years ago. Now I took my water heater out and I've got one of these tankless so I really like that a lot. Um, I've yanked out or most of it I just left in the copper tubing. And I'm running PEX, so I've got whole new PEX lines for my system. Redoing the kitchen, so I've got PEX there. I've got those all set of PEX going that part of the house. So I've got both the hot and cold, that way it ties in. Back here is where you can kind of see it's got a brick, and then there's a wooden frame around where they're would have been a window going underneath the rest of the old house but that way you can crawl underneath there if you want and over here got wooden and this is years ago then they had the um, we got the piers hooking stuff up but this is where they did have a dug in area then for um, the oil stove or oil heater a little spot in there and then I've also got a um, chimney over there you can see the foundation for the chimney going up that's my central chimney and then over here this part you can see the frame around and then they just use these as chutes to put the uh, the runs for the regular furnace, forced air furnace, but then I dug this down and I redid the whole plumbing and I've got my plumbing down there for my bathroom and then I've got a stub so I can take it run it the other direction to run a bathroom the other way but then just my PEX lines running around through here and my new electric because we did have there's quite a bit in here of uh, all different types of electricity from different times. They actually had some of the knob and tube and that's still in place right there coming through. And most of that's been changed out and I'll finish up the rest of that knob and tube just to get rid of it. I know there's a potential on electric fires and so forth so I'll just get that redone and I doubt I'll even take it out just like the old um, copper plumbing I just left it in place right now I'm just using my wood heat up stairs but this is the what I would call a basement now it does have a concrete floor and then right over here I broke that out so that then I could put 
and dig down uh, because I've been having flooding the last couple of years and then I could put a sump pump and get it a little bit lower. I'm going to install a permanent sump pump right here and then take it up and tie it in and that way I could uh, exit the water. But I put a dedicated um, line right here just for running the sump pump that way I don't have anything else that blows the fuse on that. But this just kind of shows what I would call a basement and I've seen a few people who they call them sellers. So that's it.